Hello everyone, welcome back to MathHubGH. In this video, we are going to solve the question I have on the board here. And the question reads, Firefighters are holding a nozzle at the end of a hose while trying to extinguish a fire. If the nozzle exit diameter is 6 cm and the flow rate is 5 meters, per minute a determine the average velocity of the water so the first part of the question says we should determine the average velocity of the water so we would have to know our conditions in order to know the equation to use so since it's water we know that it's incompressible also we assume it's in a steady state which means the time variation is being constant. Then we also note that the, the, the friction force is zero or net zero friction. So in this question, we would like to tackle the first part, that's the average velocity of the water. And we can use the mass conservation or conservation of mass to solve this question so for the conservation of mass that's a special case which we are talking about an incompressible flow we are going to use this equation that's q or v dot which is the same as the volume flow rate flow rate to help us solve this question so we know that let's use q we know that q is equal to va we know q is equal to va here we've been given our q but we've been given it in meters per minute but we meters cube sorry meters cube per minute but we want it in meters cube per second so would like to convert that five meters cube per minute into five meters cube per second you just divide by 60. so our q is therefore equal to 0.0833 meters cube per second so we have this we have this here we have this here so now as we have we have this to find for our rate or our to find for our average velocity we have to and calculate for our area and we know that the area of a nozzle is taken to be the area of a circle so that's pi d squared over 4 and we know our diameter to be 6 millimeters which is 6 centimeters sorry so which is going to give us 0 0.06 squared all over 4 so we have our area to be 2.8 two seven times ten to the power negative three meters squared so now in order to find for our average velocity we thereby make the average velocity the subject v is equal to q over a so we come and get zero point 0 0.833 3 all over the area which is 2.827 times 10 to the power negative 3 becomes 29.47 meters per second so for the first part of the question we are getting 29 point four seven meters per second so we move on to the next part 
of the question. And the next part, we are supposed to find for We are supposed to calculate for the horizontal resistance required of the firefighters to hold the nozzle. So let's assume this is this is the nozzle we have here, and the firefighters are supposed to hold it. So they they want the horizontal distance. So we can. We can resolve this for so let's name this fx f y and we are going to use the the second law which is the conservation of momentum to solve this question and for our conservation of momentum we know that sigma f in the direction is equal to That's beta m dot v, let's say out minus sigma beta m dot v in. So we assume our beta to be 1, which, which means we assume our beta to be 1. That's nearly uniform, nearly uniform flow. So after this, we can resolve this in the x component since they said they, they need the horizontal resistance so we can get fx to be equal to m dot v out minus m dot v in so for the m dot v in we are not calculating for the inlet so we assume the inlet to be zero. We are calculating for whatever is coming out. So this here is zero. So we need to find for our our mass flow rate. But we know since we know our volume flow rate, we know our velocity. We can calculate for our mass here using this relation. We know our density to be equal to mass over volume so we can use that analogy to also equate our mass flow rates over our volume flow rate so finding for the mass flow rate is going to be our density multiplied by our volume flow rate which we found earlier to be 0 0.0833 yeah, so to find for our mass flow rates, we know the density of water to be 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So 1000 times 000 our volume flow rate, which is 0 0.0833. So our mass flow rate is going to give us 83.3 kilogram per second so now to find for our force at fx is going to be 83.3 times 2454.85 newton so this is the horizontal resistance force required of the firefighters to hold the nozzle so this is the force if you want to um, really appreciate it you can convert it into kilogram by dividing by the 9.8 to get it so this is how to go about the question I have on the board here. If you find this solution interesting, I would like you to help or support us by liking this video, sharing, and also putting your comments in the comment section.
if you have any problem. Thank you very much.